La Movida has consumed Madrid, transforming the capital into Europe's new movable feast. Last fall, during an opening of an international art exhibit, gallery owner Fernando Bijande expressed it this way. I consider La Movida really now as something very open that has to do with culture, with art, with music, rock music, with design, with fashion, with everything that's fun. And everybody sort of tries to attract La Movida for themselves. Under Franco, an event such as this would have been given the official cold shoulder. Today, the prime minister's wife, Carmen Romero, attends. A leading figure in La Movida is Agatha Ruiz de la Prada. A young fashion designer from Barcelona who has enjoyed tremendous success in the open-minded atmosphere of post-Franco Madrid. With rock star Alaska, among others, she was among the original group of artists who created La Movida as a counterculture movement. La Movida is difficult to explain, but there are dazzling people in La Movida. Actually, they are people who are fighting against everything. There are really beautiful people in La Movida. La Movida is almost a generational movement. That is, a 50-year-old person cannot belong to La Movida. It is something that goes from about 24 to 34, 35. Desde pequeña quería... Ever since I was a young girl, I wanted to design dresses. My family has always been closely related to the world of art in Spain, with Goya, with Gaudí, with Sert. When I was a child, I wanted to do everything, everything, everything. But I thought the most practical thing would be to design because it is the easiest, fastest way to make a person happy. Making a person happy can also be quite profitable, Ruiz de la Prada has found as her business expands. At work with her two sisters in her garret studio, she concedes that her unconventional style has earned her both fame and notoriety. Not unexpected in a country where people have always spoken of the two Spains, one traditional, the other progressive. The two Spains still exist. It's just that we liberals are winning for now. The two Spains, one is cultured Spain and the other is uncultured Spain. Culture did not exist under Franco. I mean, I think that the ruling classes in history have had to be cultured. Kings and queens had to have the best architects, the best painters, the best musicians, etc. In the 20th century, culture and power have become disassociated, and the best proof of that is Franco. Franco was a man with his qualities and defects, but clearly among his qualities you will not find reading, or listening to music, or ever having seen a painting, or touched silk, nor having touched a lady well. Her shop in downtown Madrid is the scene of weekly parties, where madrileños come to browse and socialize. I don't think that there is more creativity now. What there is is a better market for creativity. I think that creativity never depends on the help it is given. Rather, the more difficult things are, the more you feel like being creative. But what there is today is creativity and the desire to commercialize that creativity. As for politics, Ruiz de la Prada claims she has no interest. She says she'd rather be invited out by a politician than vote for one. In contrast to earlier times, the new Spain is a country where artists do not have to be engaged, some would say distracted, by politics. It's the ultimate freedom to be apolitical. When I design, I try to be myself. This is difficult when you are such a curious person like me, when you are mixed up in everything and you have influence. This studio is a place where everybody comes and everybody advises you. So you have to become yourself. Her success would be difficult to imagine in Spain without the new, more open atmosphere for women. 
de las mujeres. ¿Women? Mm. Bueno, yo me encuentro en una situación bárbara porque... Well, I find myself in a wonderful no position. I don't have any inferiority me complex. Me hombres, Men spoil me and women buy my clothes. It's fantastic, no? I think it is a very good moment for women. But Madrid is starting to be a little like New York. That is, the phone rings too much, there are too many parties, too many attractive, wonderful people. It is too easy to meet people. But La Movida doesn't go to discos. La Movida goes to inaugurations, concerts. La Movida works. It's not just fun. It is fun work, like mine. My work is the most fun in the whole world.